Hi, everyone. So today I am extremely excited because I have a special guest, which I usually don't do. I don't have so many guests yet, but I'm preparing on more. But today I have Margarita Pinjas with me. And so I met Margarita a year and a half ago, I think, isn't it, uh, Margarita? Something like that, like August 2021. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we maybe. met at a Joe Dispenza retreat in San Diego. And uh, we were roommates. We ended up together in like God's ways are, or the universe's ways are sometimes very myster mysterious. So we ended up together and um, we, we are friends ever since. Like it's very interesting and she does amazing things. And I just wanted to bring her on because she is, and I'm going to let her talk herself. Like, let me, uh, let me say, Margarita, tell tell the people that are in my world, who are you? What are you doing? And and uh, yeah, just tell me, tell us a little bit. Thank you so much, Rika. And I respect you and everything that you do. Thank you for your service to the world. And everybody will be, benefit from you in everything that you do. So thank you. I'm grateful for you. And our meeting, it, it was really mysterious ways. So yeah, we will talk about later if you want to know more. But about uh, what I'm bringing to the world, uh, I a year ago, I became a yoga teacher, certified 500, 500 hours registered yoga teacher. And it's also a mysterious way that led me there because I wanted free life, free of fears, free of... Um, I wanted just a happy life and something led me to this yoga practices and I was grateful. I knew, you know, when, you know, when you're on the right place, right time, uh, and right people around you, you know, that this is for you. I was with tears in my eyes, every class I was saying to the teachers, thank you that I'm here. Thank you. This is where I supposed to be. And I became yoga teacher. And before I became a yoga teacher, I was also success coach and uh, leading people to, to show them how we can eliminate, maybe release fears, to bring more freedom into our body, to manifest more excitement around us, to be more happy. This is what we want to do in the world. We want to be happy. And this is pretty much what I do. I, I bring a lot uh, of uh, free materials. I I do coaching sessions and uh, yoga classes online and in person. So, yeah. yes. Yeah, I think this is one of the main things that we have in common. It's the idea of that we know that people are, that people just want to be happy. I made a, another um, another video about that not so long ago. Because that's really when I work with my clients, it, the only what do you really, really want? And then they say, I want to be happy. And so whatever we do is usually driven by that wanting to be happy. And a lot of people, they think they're going to be happy when they have the house or they're going to be happy when they have the money or they're happy when they're married and the kids. And that's going to bring the happiness. And it comes all from outside. And then once they get there and they have all the stuff, then they realize that they're still empty inside. So I know that this is what we have in common. That's why we also were with the Joe Dispenza uh, retreat together because we understand that it has to come from inside. And so if you're inside, if there's if it doesn't work there, <laughs> you, you're not going to be happy. So you keep on searching for that happiness. But tell me a little bit more about this yoga, Margarita, because I, I'm really intrigued because that is like the one thing that I am not so familiar with. I always had like this little resentment uh, to do yoga. But when I saw you and how it's really like it, you just are overflowing with um, enthusiasm if you are talking about this yoga. And that's what I love about you, that you're so enthusiastic about it. And, and I think what you experienced that that could help a lot of people so tell me a little tell us a little bit more like what is what did it really do for you okay so uh i'll tell you even earlier than yoga 
So I'm coming from computer science world, from tech world, really technical departments in really big tech companies. And uh, it's in terms of IT integration, QA and web development uh, service servers. This is what I did. It, it's truly technical. And Western world, we're always driven to move, move, move nonstop, always moving forward, always drives us to move somewhere and never stop, never stop. Just move forward, work hard, you will succeed. Once I got into the yoga, I trusted myself just to be, just to stop, just to listen. This is what we don't do it. We don't listen. We Yes, we do all kinds of things that we love. Maybe someone can do exercises in a different... I'm not saying do yoga, all of you. But why yoga? Because it forces you to stop and to be present. It surrenders the body through the poses just to be. And then when you challenge the body, it will force you to be present, truly present. But sometimes, you know, uh, it's it won't come from one practice. And our mindset, like Eureka also teach, works in a different mysterious ways of just uh, putting on our paradigms like, immediately when we try to get the consistent way, the, the body starts moving, juggling and saying, oh my God, it's an inconvenience. It's out of our comfort zone. And what yoga do, does, it makes you out of your comfort zone to showing you that you can grow. And when you re do repetitions, when you do, when you out of your comfort zone with repetitions, because consistency, you reach success. There is formula. It's very simple. But we have our mindset that we need to work on and the acceptance of our heart to be in receive mode. And this is what yoga does. It's actually force you just to stop and unite between all the aspects of our body, if it's mentally, emotionally, and also physically. And it's yoga, it's actually means union. And then we unite with the universe. And this is what we do. It's beautiful. When you talk about it, I can feel the peace coming out. Like it's so peaceful. And I can really see that like... Yeah, it, it makes you stop probably. And 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 again, like the body doesn't want to do it because the body wants to just does want to do what's what's familiar and what's um easy. But by forcing yourself to do so, you can get in that present moment, which is that's where the happiness is, isn't it? In the present moment, not in the past, not in the future, but just in the now. Um and I think a lot of people underestimate the happiness that you can feel when you're really present because they never really got to that point. So if yoga helps with that, that is amazing. That, um, that's really cool. So if people want to start practicing yoga and, you know, there are yoga studios all over, but what if you just want to do this first at home does that work can you do it at home is that is that an is that even an option i don't know i'm just asking you like would yes. that be possible yes because um uh i do uh, i i do actually encourage to go to studios with experienced uh teachers but it's also works from home uh, and i also do online sessions uh usually it's private sessions but i will start doing from the beginning of January, uh, sessions from uh, group sessions, and since I was little kid, I my parents always saying that it's doesn't it, it doesn't matter what you what you study, it it depends on the teacher who teach you, because the teacher is the big piece in what you are going to the classes where you're going to, and one of the things that for me, I pay attention to what people do and I correct them. And it's not criticized. It's nothing. It's just 
to show the right way i uh, also give a lot of uh, cues a lot of uh, um a lot of uh, um uh, corrections in their poses because it will protect their bodies this is why not because i think there is right or wrong but in this term there is ways to do and we want to do it in the right way now you can do uh everything but we need to go we need to be in present and we, we need to be and for me in my yoga class i usually i start with just connection and when you move from inspiration from connection it's totally different and i do want actually to add about this as well because i also i'm coming from this world i'm driven always moving forward i never forget to stop even not with yoga practices this is what yoga taught me to stop and people think oh i will stop but i will miss something no when you stop and listen you're acting from inside from inspirations and not from this force of environment driving you forward and moving forward so when you move from inspirations you are truly moving from the bottom of the heart of happiness and uh, so yes for your question we do we can practice yoga at home we can do classes at home uh, and also on my youtube channel i put a lot of uh, a few exercises but uh, uh, i will i am working on it to put more just simple exercises daily which can bring you into your balance and one of the things that i actually suggest as success coach my invention of yoga is success yoga it's a new type of yoga which i invented while I was still in 500 hours of uh, yoga, advanced yoga practices, and uh, we did our life purpose Dharma project, and I invented this type of yoga, which is very beneficial because then you can talk to all the aspects of, of ourselves. You can do yoga and also coach to success at the same time and manifest, surrendering your body, manifest what you want in your life. And then there are surprises. There's so much that we want. And we even don't know that we want it. So there's now, a lot of exercises. You're intriguing me. Like this is the, now I need to know more. So <laughs> how does it look like if you talk about success yoga? What does that like? How does it look like? What is it? So it it's a it's ty it's type of yoga invented that mixed uh, vinyasa and hatha yoga. And what we are doing, we actually, first of all, we are doing the inner work. We are coming up with something from the connection because the inner wisdom is more, much more powerful than we just thinking with our mindset, what do I want? What do I want? And then we're in the same session of yoga. We are coming up with this, something that we are want to manifest in our life. And I really don't care if it's big or small. There is nothing wrong. There is everything is fine. Everything is good. Everything is okay to manifest in our life. And big, it's only everything is relative in life. For someone, it's big. For someone else, it's small. So it's only how you feel about it. So I encourage people. I bring people to the state of thinking, feeling something they want in their life. And while we practice the yoga, we're doing a couple of things. One of them, it's challenging pose, which we surrender our emotion, our manifestation into this pose, and we're feeling the growth. And once we felt the growth in our body, we already know that we, are, that we are next step in our manifestation. We surrender it and we trust. And then we finish with meditation. And the second type of success yoga is repetitions which repeats the same the same thought over and over the same repetition and they people already move in yoga exercises which i teach in the same session they repeat the, the same sequence the same sequence and they repeat it in their mindset what they want to manifest and it's beautifully manifested in lives nice it's surrendering our, our beliefs it's it's a lot of things we have with such a complex machine it's beautiful to see how we can grow from each situation it's beautiful yeah i i i really love it i i never again like for everybody that's listening this is new for me too we didn't rehearse anything we were just going to talk about what was Mar what margarita was up to 
and I didn't know about his um, last part, uh, the the success yoga. And I really am intrigued that I I'm going to try this for sure because that is really cool. For because at at that moment you really integrate everything it's like it's it's not just an exercise it is not just like moving the body because there's w many ways of moving your body and you can stretch and you can do all but in this case it is like moving the body with a goal like there is like an there there is like um a result which I'm so result driven. I can't. Yes. I, I just realized that everybody. Right? It's not it's, only you. I looked. At, I. Yeah. I. That's that makes more sense to me when I when I would start doing yoga, yeah. knowing that I'm going to have a result that is not just physical. That I love. I really like that idea. Okay, so where where can people find you? I know you're in San Diego, um, yes. so. People in that area that are listening to us, they can definitely come to your live uh, sessions, which I would encourage yeah. them to do because, you know, yeah. you have to understand like Margarita is not the, the, the typical yoga teacher. I'm sorry to say that because I, she puts layers on top of layers, on top of layers, on top of layers. Don't forget this, this woman has like, she, she did it all. So I know it's not like just regular yoga. It will always be surprised. And um, so when you're in her area, I would suggest that you go and see her. But for all the other people in the world, um, so you mentioned that you have YouTube channel. So um, we will post that all here in, in the comments so that people can find you. So what are you up to next year? Tell us the projects that are in the pipeline. So when people are interested that they can come in and find you i have a lot of projects go ahead i, I will men mention <laughs> go ahead. i will mention a few yeah i will mention a few of them uh so for at the beginning of january i am going to uh, start the course of balance the body at and it's actually called life balance techniques it's eight modules, which the 10 first people who will register for this course will get it for only $99. And the rest of the people will get for the full price. I will post it again uh, on my social media. Uh, my website is margaritayp.com. And on social media, you can find me under the same name or uh, Success Yoga Center. Got this it. is... Uh, this is where I post the upcoming workshops, uh, retreats, which I do. Um, I'm writing a book, so it, it's supposed to come up by the end of February. And um, I also public speaking. And uh, so publicly speaking, and uh, I speak on a few stages in the San Diego area right now. And uh, it's there is a long process of growing and uh, moving forward. And uh, the most important thing that I want everybody to know, it's very important for me, just to have fun in everything that you do. Having fun. If it's not fun, don't do it. Exactly. I really, I really mean it because if it's not fun, if it wasn't fun for me, I wouldn't do anything of what I do. And this course of Balance the Body I did a few months ago and I heard this, oh my God, this review crushed me. He said, actually, you saved my life with this course. And for me, what more powerful than that? Nothing, that's true. Right? It's beautiful. And uh, and I, I bring in this course actually a lot of uh, balance. It's really balance for life, for success, which is mentally, emotionally, and physically. It's also incorporate yoga practice. It's a, it's going through the centers of the body and balance each center individually and then the whole body together with releasing and surrendering the mindset, the thoughts, manifesting and doing all this uh, inner work on all the aspects. So uniting everything. Um, and I think, and that's it. So for me, there's a lot of projects, but I won't get into this project right now. Uh, because there is there is truly 
big projects which I'm up to. And uh, as I go, we will see where it goes because I'm also flexible. It's also one of the things that yoga teaches to be flexible. If something, don't to be stubborn. If something is not going, listen to yourself and go to the different direction, maybe changing a little bit, maybe just looking totally to a different direction. It's also fine. Yeah. Uh, and we, we so just you will put the links under it so it's also we will include everything and you can find me on social media as I said yeah for me what I what I think is very amazing is that you are very authentic I don't they don't come that as authentic as you are like I see the growth in you over the 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 only like 18 months that we know each other I can see how you how you grew and how you like unfolded the things that you're doing and i can also feel that you take you just take the people with you as you grow the people that come into your life they grow with you which is so beautiful like a lot of teachers they like they want to they know and then everybody comes but that's not like you just take them with you on your path it's like a joint venture which is very 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 nice to look at i really and i really admire the way that you do that very cool. thank you can i add something a li a li uh, real yeah, quickly and uh, absolutely i wanted to say what what is your last word go ahead <laughs> yes yes I, I, because you you're saying something that's very important because i i did grow in the last year in the last year, it was my the big the bigger the biggest step forward. But before that, it was years of preparation. It was it didn't come out from in in overnight. You know, you going to bed, waking up, and then everything is happening the way you want. No, I had to work hard on my mind, on my body, on my spirit. And today people looking at me and they are right when they say that I'm fearless. I don't afraid of anything besides the cold water. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't afraid of judgment. I don't I'm afraid of you to, Wim Hof, to the methods of Wim Hof and then put you in an ice bath. <laughs> I don't I want break to it either. I do it's breathing exercises. Oh yeah, all day long, but not the cold. Yeah, 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 yeah. It. So <laughs> breathing it's very important as well because it's also part of our um, daily routine supposed to be to breathe because when we in survival mode, we're breathing through the mouth and we're really heavily. And once we learn to breathe through the mouth, uh, through the nose, sorry, through the nose, we relax in our parasympathetic nervous system and we are, we are open to opportunities. We are open to environment. We can lift our chin up and see and whatever around us and we are aware so it's it's so so important to understand that be pa patient with everything that you do because and every day do something that progress you even if it's small step even if it's holiday even if it's new year or christmas or hanukkah <laughs> it doesn't matter every day progress yourself a little bit more maybe one page in a book Maybe it's one email that you send. What whatever you do, do every day. Be consistent and be patient because the results around the corner. Yeah, I always say overnight success takes a lifetime, and and that's the truth. Like people see, like all of a sudden, but then there's so much that came before that, like a lot of hard work and. But you say hard work, but fun, like you know. Yeah. Hard work doesn't have to be like a grind. It can be hard work with discipline and fun. It's like it it those things are not necessarily like I don't like to think that hard work has to be painful. Like hard work can also be fun. Because it's uh, like, you know, there's yeah. pain and and fun involved. If it was only pain, why would we keep doing it? It's it wouldn't be good. You know that uh, I love this sentence, which I heard uh, that pain, it's not optional. We're all supposed to feel pain because otherwise uh, we won't know about our existence if, we're, if we don't have the pain. But suffering is an option. True. That's such a suffering good Suffering over the pain. It's beautiful, right? And, uh, and yes, like you said, it's everything 
about our mindset and how we look on the things. And it's it's not hard work. I don't work hard at all. I want to be with ease, with fun, with playfulness. And like I said, um, it's it's I want to have fun. This is the most important thing. And when you have fun, you manifest more fun. You manifest more people around you like Eureka. <laughs> and the and you grow together this is the most important part because people one of the things that i had in my mindset before i got into this transformation i would say that if i'm successful others cannot be so i i don't want to take something from others it's not true we grow together we in this together if i have a lot of money you will have a lot of money because i'm giver i will give I won't keep it under my <laughs> pillow or something. <laughs> it's all good. All right. <laughs> I think we we got the message. And I, I really thank you for your time, Margarita, because that was a lot of fun. And I, I hope it serves the people that are um that are watching my YouTube channel because this is a new thing. This is like I'm always talking about the mind, how you create your reality. But this is part of it. And it's an other way of creating your reality with bringing in um, yoga, which is really cool. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rita. Thank again, you. people will find all your information under this video and they can find you on social media, on your website. They can follow you. And again, if you are in the San Diego region, I would highly encourage that you visit her because you're going to see what a powerhouse she is. All right. Have a wonderful day, you guys. See you soon.